honor our, to celebrate the marriage of my daughter, Chrissy, to her groom, Zach. There are a lot of familiar faces out there, and I want to tell you how pleased we are to welcome you here today. Chrissy, I love you, and I hope you have a fulfilling and wonderful marriage. Marriage is a long-term commitment, yes, but through the good and the bad, it's such a blessing to have the love of your life standing by your side. I know that you and Zach will make each other very happy throughout the years, and I wish you both many years of love and happiness ahead. Zach, I know you will take good care of my baby girl. She's a feisty one, <laughs> but she's also loving and caring, and I know the two of you will be very happy together. It's great joy that I have to welcome you into the family on this special day. Without further ado, I'd like everyone to raise their glasses and have a toast to the bride and groom. Okay, where can I start? I actually had this big, huge speech I was going to do, but President Obama would not give me his teleprompter, so I could not remember everything that I could say. So, I would like to start off by saying congratulations both to Zach and my beautiful daughter, Christine. Awesome. And what some of the nice things I could say about her, well, first off, I'm going to skip her teenage years. I'm going to go way back far than when she was a baby. <laughs> to start off with, she thinks that I wanted her to be a boy. I am going to put the back straight here today. Her mother, Lori, is, I don't want to say this, always right all the time. It was a girl. I hated the fact that this woman was always right. Joe Montana's taking the Fine Niner to the Super Bowl. Oh, hell no. Packers are going to the Super Bowl. She was right. Niners went to the Super Bowl. The sky can be blue, she says. I go, hell no. It's going to rain. The sky be blue. She's always freaking right. When the day that she told me that she was pregnant, carrying her child, this is going to be a girl. Ain't no way I'm going to let her get away with being right. I got to be right at least once in my life. Once. Once. So I said, no, it's going to be a boy. Sure enough, when, as Christy was born, it was a beautiful girl. So when we got her home from the hospital, we always had arguments. It's whose turn to get up and um, be changed the baby. It was, of course, always my turn because it was, <laughs> she'd always say no, and, and she was right. And oh, Zach, let me give you two words if you ever want to get a decent, nice sleep. Breast feeding. Very good. <laughs> Breast feeding. Uh, that's four words. I'll say it again. Breast feeding. <laughs> if you want to get a good night's sleep and probably say no, the hell out of your mouth. I did get up. I get a lot. For him or the baby. Yes. For him or the baby. <laughs> So the many nights that I did get up and um, fed, changed her and fed her, and I would often have this rocking chair and I would rock her to sleep. And one of the things that she, that I had told her, I said to her, whispering to her ear, "Mommy once got it wrong. I did want a girl. I just wasn't gonna let her." No. <laughs> so anyway, I'm setting the record straight. I always wanted a girl. I had a son, and now it's time for a daughter. But I just once wanted to be right. So I was right. I just wanted you to know that. So anyway, many times that I would rock her to sleep, one of the things is I came up with a song that I would often sing to her when you know she was a little girl. And I've kind of tried, I want to sing it tonight. I probably will mess it up because, you know, as I get older, I kind of forget.
things. And um, so, please, give me a break here. I'm going to try my best. Okay. No, it's not. Thanks. Christy, it's not. So, anyway, here it goes. My little Christina, up in a tree, looking down at Daddy. What does she see? Oh, my little Christina, up in her tree, looking down at Daddy. Looking down at me. Congratulations both of you guys. I wish you so much.